Hello friends and welcome to the Crypto Stacker channel. My name is Dean. If you're watching my videos for the first time, please know I only make them for entertainment, education, and for community building in the crypto space. Today I'm talking about Terrarium and Terrarium has had an awesome run here for the last week. Off its low, up about 90%. So um, now off its high, down about 80%, right? If we're being perfectly honest, but for the last week and a half and really the few days leading up to the Singapore Expo and these uh, day or two here after, tons of excitement, lots of new people on board and a price really reflecting that. I mean, if we look at the seven day chart, pretty strong stuff. In the 14 day chart, you can actually see where it kind of bottoms out here and then uh, com comes on this nice run up. So the last seven days showing up 60%. But if we were to take that from its low here at 8010 to 8019, we're up 90% off that low. So uh, people who've jumped in in the last week or so, you are in a pretty strong position right now. Um, so we're going to take a look at a couple of what's going on, the happenings for, for Terrarium. And I'm able to show you in my spreadsheet that one quad burn. And we know that there's another one quad burn coming. So. Let's jump over and just take a look. Today is June the 24th. Current number of holders for Terrarium, 10,200. Of course, 10,000 was that critical level to get the one quad burn, and now we've superseded that, and hopefully heading, continuing onward and upward. Rank of Terrarium, 272 of all cryptocurrencies, uh, with a market cap of 92 million right now. Look at this, you guys, jumping, really, I mean, 50 million, that was kind of that low point, 52 million up to 92 million. That is a pretty good little run. And we know 92 million still makes this a micro cap. So from this to keep moving up from here, it should have plenty of upward momentum, um, hopefully still left in the tank here. So uh, price, eight zeros, one nine five. The volume in the last 24 hours, 126,000. Here you see the burn is up to 52.66. Two days ago, 51.65. Adding up the last two days here of burn or from, I guess, some of it we picked up on the 22nd. I didn't do my um, spreadsheet yesterday, so this other would have probably been reflected yesterday as well, but 400 and 600 is 100 quad burn, which, or 100 quad, I wish. That would be 100% of the supply. A one quad burn. Um, so there is the big burn as promised, and we know that sometime realistically happening today, there should be another one quad burn. They were gonna take another one quad out of the marketing wallet and burn it. So you guys should be able to see that in the spreadsheet reflected hopefully by tomorrow. Uh, good, good stuff here. So, oh, you can see I'm repping the Terrarium merch. I uh, decided finally I would just go out and, and buy some. I got a hoodie and I got this black t-shirt and I don't know if it was by mistake or what happened, but I also got a green uh, terrarium shirt as a bonus and a terrarium bag. So cool stuff. And uh, so every once in a while now you'll see me, you know, repping the brand. I'll get it out in the community and see what kind of questions people ask. All right. Uh, jumping over into Twitter, my favorite tweets coming off of Dr. Ramana's uh, feed. So here's Dr. Ramana today, seven hours ago, saying, Hey, TerraFam, great things are incoming. Our CEO, Milton, will drop the news soon after discussing with our respected advisors. Stay tuned. So that was seven hours ago from right now. I am 7.50 p.m. Mountain Time in the United States. So that was about noon today for me that that news would have dropped. I have no idea what that is. I really would love to see the uh, Terrarium team do an AMA so we can get the update on what happened at the Crypto Expo Asia. I'd like to know about Milton's speech. If any of you have seen Milton's speech or if there is footage of it rolling around out there, please uh, put a link in the comments of the video today because I would love to see that. Or you can... You know, put it in my, tag me in uh, Twitter. Uh, I'd really like to see how that speech went, but something good coming, I don't know what that is. I mean, we've got some other great things coming because we know TerraPool should be launching in the next week or so. 
Now, the other thing that was of note at the Crypto Expo Asia, Terrarium received the award for Best Technology Company of 2022. And I know that they had on display at the expo the Terrapool software. And scrolling down, this is the Terrarium Twitter feed. They actually released a video just showing the Terrapool platform. And they kind of go through page by page. It looks pretty clean. It's about a one minute video. It's in their feed at, uh, at Terrarium on Twitter. So one minute long, take a chance to look at it. It really uh, it looks solid. Okay. Other things of note, uh, Dr. Badiga has been very involved with the uh, law side of cryptocurrency and has made some contacts with two U.S. senators. And so he's linked a post to what's called the Responsible Financial Innovation Act. And then he goes on to say that this act creates regulatory clarity for agencies charged with supervising digital asset markets provides a strong tailored regulatory framework for stable coins and integrates digital assets into the US existing tax and banking laws. So interesting stuff. And that was a quote from Senator Loomis, one of the two senators working on this uh, legislation. So in some ways, you guys, I think the beauty of cryptocurrency and especially decentralization is that there was no central governing body. And in some ways, that's an amazing thing because we're free to interact the way we want to interact. But without anybody monitoring the space and without any guardrails, barriers to entry or regulation, there have been so many bad actors that have jumped into the space and have completely taken advantage of investors. We've seen rug pull after rug pull. We've seen, you know, just straight up scams in the crypto space. So you know, some kind of barriers to entry or monitoring of what's going on, coupled with some type of penalties for people who are bad actors, I don't think is the worst idea. I hope that it doesn't disrupt our ability to interact the way we want to interact and freely use our funds, um, you know, country to country, individual to individual. So uh, other countries have already done this. India, one of the first ones to create legislation that basically says you do what you want to do, but you're going to get taxed at 30% on your gains. So I'm sure we'll be seeing something like this coming through. I believe they actually have uh, put out their legislation for people to go out and review. It looks like it was posted on GitHub. So there is a link to that in Dr. Badiga's um, Twitter feed at Dr. Family Allergy. So thanks, Dr. Badiga, for keeping people up to date. Now, the last thing I want to do is just show you guys where my reflections are at. And it has been a couple of great days here. So since the 21st, so the last three days, I have amassed more or less 900 million, almost a billion in uh, reflections. So my total reflections since February 21st are 31,169,000,000. At the current price, that would make my reflections worth about $60. So uh, I love the reflections. It's just the reward you get while you're waiting. And those of you who've been watching my last few videos know that somebody asked me if I could calculate where I made my buys and what my cost basis was. After doing that, you know, I've, I've been buying multiple times over the last three months and my cost basis is 80166. So now that we're at 8019, I am in the black, if you would. I'm in a profitable state. And so I have no intentions of taking small profits at this time. I'm hoping that we continue to see an upward trajectory on this as the different use cases for Terrarium are released. So Terrarium team, hey, the Terra tribe, the Terra fam is behind you. Let's keep this thing rolling. Milton, Dr. Amana, uh, Dr. Vadiga, Dr. Wilman, we would love to see you guys do another AMA. You're happy to do it. I'm happy to do it on my channel or to see it with any of the other influencers so we can get an update on Crypto Expo Asia. Friends, thank you so much for taking some time to join me tonight. Please check back with me soon. We'll watch our crypto stacks grow together.